Hello, welcome to my second part of my three-part episode on skateboarding. Today, we are gonna learn how to ollie. It's gonna be a little bit of a short tutorial because other than practice, there's not much that goes into an ollie. So let's go. An ollie is a fundamental part of skateboarding. Whether you just want to get up a curb or you want to learn how to kickflip, it's something you need to know how to do. I don't even think you should be allowed to wear a thrasher shirt if you can't ollie. So let's go learn how to ollie. Actually, it'll just be easy if I do it here. The crazy thing with an ollie is each step is really easy. Snap, slide, jump. The hard part is you need to do it that fast. You put your front foot kind of in the center of the board and you just snap that tail down so fast. You snap it down like it's a, like it's a karate kick, like you're Bruce Lee. Just snap it, slide that front foot up and that's gonna bring the back up. And then you just level up and then you just come back down. You need to do all that in a quarter of a second. Once you get it, just do it over and over. And you could do it watching TV, you could do it shopping, when you're at the ATM machine machine. Just do it over and over until it's in your muscle memory. So you wanna try ollieing over like a little extension cord or something just to get your timing down. And then slowly ollie over bigger and bigger things until you're ready to ollie up a curb. And that's it, that's everything to an ollie. Because an ollie is so simple, I didn't have a professional skateboarder on to explain how to do it, but I do have this. In the 80s, my family were big time skateboarders. We had a ramp in every house we lived in, and we liked a lot of pro skateboarders, but there were really only two that we were really into. It was Tony Hawk and Christian Hasoy. Tony Hawk was a clean cut technical skater, and he could do any trick. But Krishna Soy would go huge and he had so much style. And we loved Krishna Soy. My brother had Christian's Picasso deck and my sister had the hammerhead and I had all their hand-me-downs. In 1988, Krishna Soy came to Sydney and my dad took us down to the opera house to see him. There we are. We loved him, but nobody loved him more than my sister. In her bedroom, she didn't have posters of Rob Lowe and Corey Haim. She had posters of Hisoi. He was a rock star and she loved him so much. So here's a little surprise for you, Moana. This is for you. Hey, Moana, this is Christian Hisoi wanting to wish you a huge happy birthday. This is such an amazing way to connect and to meet with fans who had her whole room covered in my posters and pictures, which is super humbling and, and such an honor to uh, have had you do that. I still trip out. I'm still a kid at heart, and I still am so thankful for the, the people that supported me throughout my career. And uh, every person who loved my skateboarding and supported me is something that holds dear to my heart. And I just want to say thank you. And uh, this is definitely from uh, your brother, Rich, who misses you, loves you very much, and uh, cares about you, of course. But I'm glad I get to say happy birthday. God bless you. Love you. Happy birthday. If you like my video, you could subscribe right here. If you're watching this on Facebook, this doesn't make any sense. But if you're watching on YouTube, this is movie magic.